Okay, let's see what we got here. All right, reading some more comments here, questions. Let's see. Cannot believe what I've just seen. I love it. Thank you. Uh, I've come to the conclusion you need more subscribers. I feel the same. Uh, oh, wait, this isn't heaven. Uh, thanks for the love, guys. It's crazy. Uh, let's see if we got any questions on this page. Do you buy doubles on your shoes? Uh, depends. Some I do. Most I don't. Uh, the ones I really like, if I can, I will. The Cool Grays, I was able to get, thankfully, I got doubles on those. Uh, the Cement 3s, I got doubles on because I thought I was going to wear them out. I actually haven't even wore either one yet. So, uh, the 13s, when they originally, not originally came out, when they were retro the first, first time, uh, I had bought two pairs, each of those. Uh, because I was, I knew I'd wear them out. Uh, been about a year ago, right before the flints re-dropped, before they even announced it, I sold my flints in my red and black colorway, and I had a, I think a high and a low of the solid whites, and I just went ahead and a low top of the red or the mids, I should say, of the red and whites. So I had doubles of all of them dead stock. I went ahead and sold them about a year ago. Uh, before they started retroing the 13s again. Uh, kind of regret it on the black and reds because I don't really want to wear my pair too much now because uh, they're get, they're starting to get a little beat up. And I like to retire them so they're at least in decent condition to look at. So I don't wear them too much anymore, but, you know, it's all good. It's what I did, so at least I got a couple of other pairs out of it when I, when I sold those, so... That's the question on uh, do I buy doubles or not. One of the nicest collections out there. Thanks. That, sh that stuff means a lot. Uh, uh, I thought about buying your pair of Hyper Dunks you put up on eBay. Uh, ever think about selling again? Uh, I do still sell some shoes uh, if you go to my eBay store. Um, be just music or. Uh, Anywhere will take you to uh, the link to it, justmusic.com, J-E-S-T, music.com. Uh, you can go to kitcrazy.com with Ks. Uh, that'll take you to the links to my eBay store. Just look over in the shoe section, uh, see what I got in there now. Uh, I actually, as I speak right now, I sold, I think, three pairs last week. So uh, I still got some pairs rolling out. So thank you guys all for the support of buying the shoes. Appreciate it because, you know, even though I'm only making like 10, 20 bucks on those shoes, you know, that adds up to another pair of shoes eventually. So I want to thank you all for that. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, and it allows me to go out and hunt more for shoes. And, you know, part part of the joy ain't just, you know, selling the shoe and making a $10 profit or a $20 profit or whatever. The joy comes from actually going out and looking. You know, digging through the clearance sections. Looking things up. Seeing what they're worth. And just do the whole hunt of what you can find. And that's most of the joy for me is in that part of it so if I can sustain myself and allow myself to keep doing that I'm happy so uh, thank you all again for buying shoes from me I get a lot of questions on uh, see I didn't answer there on what kind of camera I use um, what I've got is I bought it about a year ago maybe a little bit longer it's a Sony HD uh, camera the uh, let me get the number for you all right, it is the Sony 12 megapixels. The model number is HDR XR500. Uh, like I said, I bought it probably a year and a half ago. It was like 1,100 bucks. Uh, it's probably much cheaper now. You know the way technology works. Uh, usually things are obsolete after 18 months or whatever. So uh, you can probably get it real cheap. So that's the model number for you guys. All the people asking about what the camera I use. Alright, let's see. Do you ever trade? Not really. Uh, not really. It's, the opportunities just never came up for a trade, so I mean, I wouldn't be against it. Against trading. Uh, like I said, the opportunities just never arose. Uh, it's usually just selling and buying, so uh, there you go. Alright. Awesome pickup. Would you recommend the CMFTs? Um, you know, at first I would have said yeah. And maybe it's just the pair, but I wore the black and gray 
pair yesterday or the day before with the carbon fiber look on them and there was just something weird about them. It felt like I had something stuck to the my left shoe at the upper left part of my shoe. It felt like there was like a you know piece of stuck sticky candy or something stuck to it because it was just kind of all off and it was messing me up. Uh, so that was weird. There was nothing there. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know if it's just you know, the quality or it's off level or something. I don't get it. I tried figuring it out, but there's something weird about the shoe. Uh, I don't know if I've got three other pairs I haven't worn yet, so you know I I can't call whether I'd recommend them or not. Uh, just because my first experience wasn't that great. Uh, I got the CMF T's 11s, uh, and I was gonna get the 13s because I love the 13s, but now I'm questioning if I'm even going to mess with them or worry about them just because of that first experience with the, the 11 ones. So uh, you know, I'd say try it on at the store before you buy those. Uh, that's what I would recommend. And that question, like several, come from Ken Fresh. Ken Fresh, K-I-N-F-R-E-S-H-H-H. -H -H. All right. 